today. This is day three of the Electronica 2012. We're standing here with Mr. Neil Harrison from Premier Farnell. How's the show going so far for you? Actually, we're having a really great show. Um, you know, lots of visitors, lots of interest in new technology, uh, lots of interest in all the services and online proposition that we have. And apart from the small power cut this morning, I think everything's gone really smoothly. So. Can you actually tell us why you're here, what you're actually uh, presenting? Have you established some uh, launch, something new that you want to talk about? Yeah, I think there are two or three things that we're really talking to customers about, which they seem to be very interested in and excited about. First of all, it's new technology, uh, particularly in the de development board category with our acquisition of MBEST uh, and really promoting some of the services through Freescale, NXP, and of course Raspberry Pi, which is incredibly popular on the stand. Also talking about a lot of our online uh, investments in our online proposition, so we're investing tens of millions of pounds in improving the user experience and getting very good feedback about that. And then of course, the show really this year has great attendance from lots of new markets, in particular Eastern Europe. Uh, and we're on the stand, I think, with about 23 different languages, uh, and each and every one of them is proving very useful. So that's really our focus. The global economy is actually going in through a little patch um, of bad <laughs> uh, economy, so yeah. to speak. Uh, how did it affect Premier Farnell? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, our results, which we announced to the city in the sort of first quarter of the year, we were down around about 5%. So, uh, you know, in terms of revenues, uh, the second quarter, we had a slight improvement on that, around about sort of minus 1%. Uh, and in essence, I don't think we're seeing any any further change in market conditions. Uh, it's tough out there. The electronics market, in particular, SIA data, I think says we're down about 15% overall from a market perspective. Obviously, some of the volume distributors have been announcing their results recently. Yeah, and things are tough. But actually, I think where you support customers and you adapt your proposition well to the customer demand, we still see growth opportunities. Is it different from 2008? I think it's different in that the, I think the sense in 2008 was that there was a maybe more optimism about a short-term bounce. And I think everyone's much more realistic now that this is going to be slow, grind it out recovery. If you dare to look into your crystal ball, when do you think it's going to be picking up again? Uh, I'm certainly not planning for a pickup uh, in the next 12 months. You know, we're really planning to self-help, uh, serve our customers much better uh, and improve our business in that way. We're a European-based newspaper or news outlet. Can you actually tell us a little bit about the future developments for Europe for Premier Farnell? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, we are quite well established, I guess, in many of our sort of what you might call Western European uh, economies. We see uh, still great growth opportunities in some of the markets like we're here today in Germany, uh, in Italy, uh, and so on. But we see sort of probably the major growth in terms of percentage terms coming out of the Eastern European territories, in particular Poland, uh, Hungary, Czech, etc. And that's obviously why we also invested quite substantially in about 125 people operation in Krakow. We see a few people talking about Russia more, that they want to invest there. Is that something that Premier Fennell is even thinking about? Yeah, we're certainly considering new market opportunities. Um, Russia will be one of those. We, you know, Turkey's uh, quite uh, uh, quite an attractive market as well, with great growth opportunities. Uh, clearly, what we want to do when we when we look at each of those markets is make sure we can service the customers with a high service proposition from day one, and that's what we're looking to establish first. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.